Our first guest tonight is an Emmy and Tony Award winning actor you know from movies like Moulin Rouge, Ice Age, and Encanto. He stars in The Menu, which is in theaters November 18th. Let's take a look. Do you need assistance finding your seat? Please sit. It's all part of the menu. Oh my God. This is real, isn't it? I can't do it. You go talk to him. Go talk to him because you know him, right? I made that up. Why? Because I'm, I'm a name dropping whore. That's why. Okay. Please welcome back to the show our friend John Leguizamo, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you for having me back. Um, I was lucky enough to see you on Monday at the premiere of this movie, which I loved a great deal. One of our writers here at Late Night was a co-writer on this film, Seth Reese. Seth Reese. You got to meet Seth and, and work with Seth. How was your time with him? A lot of time with him. Well, he wrote this character for me, this egotistical actor. And he knows about egotistical, because you know you know Seth himself. We He's kind of egotistical. Oh, I thought you were saying uh, he knows egotistical because he writes for me. I... <laughs> <laughs> no. It's a very self-revealing. You yeah, get to be, uh, you play an egotistical actor. Did you, uh, did you base it on anything, actors that you've worked with over the years? You know, it's funny that you should ask that because I play a, a washed up action star and I've worked up with a lot of action stars that are washed up now. <laughs> and there was one in particular that I, that, uh, I like to use and that's Steven Seagal. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. So that's who I based it on. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, yeah. I kind of want to go watch it a second time now. Oh, you yeah. see that? Yeah. <laughs> the hair, I did the hair kind of like him, like painted scalp and stuff like did that. Did you actually, uh, did you work with him on a movie? Yes, I did. Uh, executive Decision. Okay. And I was playing his right hand man and he knocked me out in rehearsals. Oh wow. By yeah. accident or? Oh no, no, for, uh, on purpose. Wow. Because I was laughing at him because as I tend to do. <laughs> I, I do laugh at people. I don't take anybody seriously, not myself. But I was laughing at him, and he elbowed me so hard in the solar plexus, knocked me against the wall. I hit the wall, and I and I slid down. And wow, I, yeah. And but he dies in the movie, so I was I was there the first. I was the first one there to see him die, even though it was fake. I still. <laughs> It's very nice for you to come and watch what other actors work. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, this, is a, this is a great film. Uh, you obviously are working. I, I think the first time you were on the show, I talked about, you know, I know you from one man shows. That yes. was the first time I saw you. And now uh, you're doing a new one that is actually going to be a musical one man show, which I'm, I'm oh, surprised. Oh, no, it's, it's not a one man show. I'm sorry. My, my, I misrespect. Kiss My Aztec is my new musical. Okay, gotcha. Kiss My Aztec. All but, right. but I can't sing. So, oh, it's, it's, so that's why you need more, more man in the show. <laughs> yes, yeah. I, need, I need a lot more people in the show because I can't sing. Uh, I mean, I got a great voice. I just can't hit a melody or a pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a beautiful voice. Uh, and yeah, so it's, it's coming to Broadway next year. Yeah, it's a really funny take on conquest and genocide. You know. Oh, I, that's good. Well, and, uh, <laughs> fodder, fodder for humor. Yeah. If, if there's any pair of hands, I feel like that might be safe, and it's yours. Yeah, so yeah. I, no, no, I handle. I handle. Um, you were Bruno in Encanto. Yes, yes. Thank and, you. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, I, you know, obviously you've done animated uh, films yeah. before, but to be the sort of uh, the title character in the song that was what everybody was singing for the that course was a of crazy hit. Was it? What was it like? Oh my God, it was incredible. It was like first Lin Manuel calls me up and goes, "John, I wrote a rap for you," and I'll go, "Oh my God, he wrote a rap! I'm gonna be in a movie." <laughs> then the poor guy, you know, suffered because he had to spend hours and hours trying to get me in the pocket because <laughs> I, I cannot sing. <laughs> so he suffered a lot, but you know, parents. I recognize me, and then they, they like want me to meet their kids and go, This is Bruno, and then it never goes well. The kids, yeah, the kids. They don't are, get it. They don't get it. They don't like it. They don't like it. Yeah. They see this mug and they go, Oh, yeah. no, not so cool. Right. He's not really Bruno. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It is really funny. They're like, You know the clean lines, the clean animation lines of your beloved character? He's actually a real grown man. Yeah, yeah. with whiskers and. You know, <laughs> Funny looking man. Um, you have this movie uh, I've been seeing trailers for uh, with the great David Harbour called. Uh, oh my God, he's so Violent great. Violent Night. This is coming out. This seems like the kind of Christmas film that we haven't seen before. Oh hell yeah! This is an anti-Christmas movie for for Christmas. Like people who hate Christmas movies, <laughs> this is your movie because he's a badass. He he drinks. He curses. He punches people out. He pisses from his reindeer, flying reindeer. Gotcha. Yeah. The, the Santa we've been waiting for. Yes. The Santa for this era. 
And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on a limb and say, uh, David, a better action movie co-star than Steven Seagal. Oh, he never hurt me. We had a big <laughs> fight sequence. Yeah. 50 punch fight sequence and he never hurt me. That's I love a that man. Gentlemen. Uh, yes, sir. Um, you know, in uh, in the menu, you play uh, an actor who's about to embark on doing a reality show, which you're actually doing in uh, real life. Uh, John know. Leguizamo. Uh, what's the show? It's gonna I be mean, on MSNBC, right? It was a little weird because, you know, it's a washed up movie star who's using the Food Network to revitalize his career. And then, uh, wait a minute, I'm working on a Food Network. <laughs> Is my career washed up? I mean, I was never an action star, so I can't be a washed up action star. Anyway, yeah, so anyway, but this is beautiful for MSNBC. It's about Latin culture, and I go across all of America uh, docuseries exploring Latin culture, chefs, singers, artists, activists, politicians. Have you shot it yet? Yes, we shot six episodes. Now, I have to ask you this, because I did exactly one episode of one travel show. And it was what the happened? most exhausting. I think they look so oh fun. God. It's so tiring, right? Yo, you said, yeah. oh my okay. God, it's the most exhausting. You're so full all the time. <laughs> they make you eat so much. And, 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 you, and you gotta keep eating because sometimes you make mistakes. So now I gotta eat a whole new what? You, that thing come out right? <laughs> I gotta eat that whole lechon again? Oh my God. <laughs> And you, you gotta enjoy great. it. All things considered, that's why I'm surprised you've already done it, because I assumed you'd be a full 100 pounds heavier. Oh, I so. was 100 pounds heavier. <laughs> you just worked it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, I've been fasting intermittently since I shot it. <laughs> I've been fasting for six months. Uh, uh, we talked about, you know, obviously both a film actor and a stage actor. In your early days, you loved the idea of going to shows, didn't quite have the money to do it. Had a, a, w explain how you would find your way into Broadway theaters. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I was broke, I was ghetto, I was, you know, and I, but I loved theater, but it was unaffordable for a poor guy like myself, so I would do this thing called second acting. Have you ever done that? No. No, I guess, I guess well, now people know how to do it. So back then, you know, there was none of that digital ticket stuff, and, and people smoked a lot, so I would wait for the second act when all the smokers would come out, and I would dress up with my best uh, polyester suit, and uh, I'd bring cigarettes, and I, I, I was too young to smoke, but I would smoke anyway, and I, I'd grab a playbill that was on the ground, and you run in. Ah. With all the smokers, and you run in, and I look down, and then you go to the bathroom, and you wait for everybody to sit down, and then you run back out, and you sit in the empty seats. That's amazing. And, and I saw, I saw Elephant Man. I saw Waiting for Godot. I never saw the first act. Yeah. It's probably better for Waiting for Godot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, ultimately, it's most. It's still just a lot of waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah always. Yeah. <laughs> Existential waiting. Is yeah, the like wait, during the second act of Waiting for Godot, did you turn to other people and go, like, did anything happen in the first act? <laughs> I was always afraid of talking to people because they turned me in or something. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> a very, uh, very novel idea. Obviously, it paid off down the line. And thank you for being here. It's always such a pleasure. Oh, thank you for having me, brother. Oh. The menu is in theaters this Friday, and Violent Night opens December 2nd. We'll be right back with Zoe Kazan.